crank up the tempo with this warm-up routine because why? I want to get you working through a little bit of a low impact that's coming right up your way. So nice, pacey warm-up routine. Beginners, don't sit this out. This one is for you as well. The only thing I'd like you to do is just take things a little easier. If you're starting to feel a little bit winded, well, calm down by moving your body into a march position. Otherwise, don't sit down. Stay with us. Come on, take a step, touch from side to side. Work that heel out to the front of the torso. Start to rock those arms because we want to warm up the body at the same time. We're rocking. Rocking, rocking right here at the Lane Cove National Park. Beautiful area. This is my second time here, and I'll certainly be back for more. Have you ever been to this location? Well, if not, make it a must at the end of the week. Start to work the arms to the outside of the body. Folks, march in position and give me a nice deep breath. Here we go. Inhale, exhale down. Take it all the way up and down. Twice more, bring the arms all the way up. Press down to the sides of the body one more time. Good. Double knee lift with a march in position. Here we go. March two, three and four. Take it in. Step on your right foot, bring your left knee up for two counts. Then you march in position, switch legs. Just a nice, easy forward step to start with. Don't go crazy in the warm-up. Work the arms, come on. Swing them side to side. Now what I want you to do is when you work your march, just move it back slightly. So the first step is a big one, yeah? Press through, work it back now, a big lunge forward, good. Little steps on the way back, lunging. Twice more, on the right leg, come on, take it up. Walk it to the back, then big step forward. Walk it to the back. One more time on the right side. And the last time on the left. Get ready to take a step touch to the right side. Work the arms to the outside of the body. Swing it out. And out. Variation in the arm line. Watch closely. One, two, up, down. Then you add a clap. All right? Slowly first. Take the arms out, out, go up, down. Then open up into a clap position. Slowly again. Right, left, all the way up, down, open clap. Now tempo with only two claps. Two claps, repeat. Right, left, up and down, two claps. Try it again. Good. One more time, get ready to go back to your double knee lift and a march forward. Double knee lift, march. Take it on the left foot, march it back. Let's try this one more time. Step your right foot forward, big knee lift to the chest. And the last one. Ready for the step touch. Use the arm straight away. Come on. Go out. Woo. Clap it. Aha. Uh -huh. Soft through the knees. Repeat it twice more. Come on, take it up. Whoa. One more time. Going from the top. Double knee lift with a march backwards. Yes. Move it to the back. Rock it forward. Straight into your step touches now. Go. Woo. Shoulders relax. Double knee lift one more time. One and two and three and four. Move it to the back and go. Let's try that step touch on your own. Oh, big. Work it up to the back. Okay, let's move on. Stay with the step touches now. I want you to make the movements a little bit bigger. We're just going to kind of relax through the upper body as we focus down into your legs. Warming up those large muscle groups, quads, thighs, your calves, ankles. Now leave those legs alone, lunging it out from side to side. Let it go. Pressing it through. Now work the elbow like this. Come on, pulling it out. That's it. Elongating through the sides of the torso. Really stretching out through the sides of the body. Four more counts. One, pull long. So you're kind of pulling back on a bow and arrow. All right, give me a side punch over. Take it up here. Sweep it nice and high there. And move it across your body for eight counts. Twist into that waistline. Now legs, four counts up. Go! One, two, three, and four. Take it across the body. Back to your step touches with no arms. Give it a good shake out. Feeling warmed up? Good. What I want to do is show you a preview of the low impact routine, the first combination. We're going to start with a double knee lift and a four marches back. Double knee lift now. Four marches back. Do it again. So not the step touch, double knee lift again. Big lunge forward. Now here is what we're going to do. Two sets of the double knee lift, take out the march. Twice forward, step on your left foot, eight marches back. 
good. Try that one again. Double knee lift, double knee lift, and eight counts back. Practice one on your own. We'll be back to start you off on this combination and the rest of the low impact routine. Here we go. Woo. Take the arms now. Okay, before we move on to our low impact section, I'd just like you to take your right foot to the back of the body and just roll up through, up and down through the ball of that foot. Getting a big stretch out here into those calf muscles. Two more like this. One more time. And release it. Let's take the other foot to the back. Okay, the focus is to the calf. So roll up high, push down. High and push down. Keep the knees fairly straight throughout the movement. Two more like this. One more time. Now keep that foot where it is. Simply bend through that back knee as you shift the stretch into the hamstring muscle. Ooh, feels good there. Get awfully tight. Roll it up through the base of the spine. Stretch every day, twice a day if you can. Great for your flexibility. And releasing it through here. All right. Let's take it up into a march position. Did you practice your double knee lift? Eight marches back? Well, I hope so. We're going to go straight into it. Begin by really pumping up through the arms, getting the heart rate up. We're going to keep it up there for the next two segments. Holding it for four and three, two, double knee lift from the top. Take it in. Sit. Now eight marches back with a big clap. One, two, three, and four. Now bring the arms into the double knee lift next time. Now eight marches back. I'm going to add a variation on the marches. One, two, now single knee lift, left knee up, right knee up, left knee up, right knee up. Straight into the double knee. That's it, now pick up your left knee, right knee, left knee, right knee. If you want to make this one bit more challenging, how about adding a little bit of a hop on the single knee lift? All right, take it in. All right, so if you're a beginner, or perhaps today is just your day to get too active, just kind of keep it low impact all the way through. All right, stay low. Otherwise, add a little bit of a jump there. Work the arms. Come on, everybody. Take it high. Keep it high. Now, big clap on the way back. Nice, strong knee lifts. Two more counts. Practice. Whoa. Move it back. One, two. Use your floor space. If you've got loads of room, travel. Use the space. One more time. Take it to back. Everybody, give me a diagonal grapevine. One and two and three. Little hop to unload. Diagonal. Right side. Add a little hop in between and at the end of the grapevines. At the end, in between, little hop. Shoulder to the right side again. One, two, little hop turn. Last time. Good. One more time and we're going to put these routines together. Whew. Last one back. Ready from the top. Double knee lift now. Keep the chest lifted. Single knee lift. Good. Try this one again, come on. Double knee goes up, double knee goes up. Keep the chest lifted, nice strong lift through those legs. Diagonal grapevine, jump it up. And again, take it back. Woo. One more time with the diagonal. We're gonna keep it short and sweet the very next time. Last one, double knee lift, let's go. Chest is up. Are you breathing? You gotta breathe or you'll die. Diagonal grapevine. Woo! Take it backwards. Ready to go again? Come on, here we go. Woo! Strong, simple but fun choreography. I hope you are liking it. Most of you should know the combinations by now. Movements such as grapevine. Double knee lift one more time. We're gonna move on after this. Strong, take that knee up, come on. Whoa! Good job. Hop it. Okay. Moving on, everybody. We're going to add a little pony from right to left now. Little hops. Now, beginners, instead of the pony, I just want you to do a step touch. If you're a bit more challenged, little hops from side to side. The choice is yours. Five and six, seven, four step touches. Two and three and four. Four ponies. One. Two, three, four step touches. Put it 
feet together again. Four ponies. Hup. Work the arms to the outside of the body. Step touch. Arms go out like this. Now only two ponies. One and two, one and two. Step touch. One and two, one and two. Come on, everybody. Make sure the arms go on the outside. Yeah. One more time. Ready from the top? Double knee lift. Let's go. Show me those armpits. Single knee lift. Diagonal grapevine. And a hop to unload. Take it back. Yes. Two ponies, arms to the left and right. Step touch. Ponies again. Well, that's it. Don't wind yourself down. You're halfway through your low impact routine. March, do anything you want. Have a drink of water. We'll be back to carry you through the last section of the low impact. Stay with us. Woo! How did you go? Just give those arms and legs a bit of a shake out. This is the last section of your low impact, so extra effort on this part, okay? No excuses now. Here we go. Shaking it through. Let's take a marching position. Here we go. Push. That's it. Get those legs up nice and high. Even the marches are enough to keep that heart rate lifted and stay up there. So don't be afraid to always go back to this position whenever you want to. Remember, work at your own pace. Keep those arms close to the sides of the body. Just kind of rock them forward and back. Not like this. Out of control movements is a no-no. Keep them close, pulling it through. Move yourself to the back. Are you ready? Five and six. Double knee lift now, show me. Take it up. Four single knee lifts going back. Big clap. Straight into the diagonal grapevine. Little hop there. One, two, big jump. Take it back home. Everybody, two ponies right to left. Hop, step touch. Two ponies again. Good. Ready to go again. Step knee forward. Woo! Take it home. Step clap. Now listen carefully. Get yourself to the front of the grapevine. Two ponies going backwards. Step touch. Stay with me on the hold. Now hold it. You got that one? Two ponies backward, two step touches. Ready? Let's go again. I wasn't talking to you, Wendy. <laughs> Nah, that was good. Great response, though. Straight into the diagonal grapevine. Jump it high. Two ponies going backwards. Step touch from the top. No resting for the wicked. Woo! Here we go. Take that knee up. Later on, I'm going to add an optional turn on the single knee lifts. Two ponies going backwards. Straight into the step touch. Move forward again. Now, here comes the turn. I'm going to add a turn to the left side of my body. Good job. Straight into the diagonal. Jump it up. Two ponies going back. Step touch. Let's do it all over again. Come on, everybody. Should be comfortable with the movements by now. Remember, the turns are optional. One, two, jump it up. Two ponies back. Move it back. Step touch from the word go again. Come on. Doing practice makes perfect. Take it home. Diagonal grapevine. Nice and high. Two ponies back. We'll do it one more time. Come on. Are you with us? I hope so. Come on. Turn or no turns. Woo! Straight into the diagonal. Big jump. Well done. Pony, pony. Step touch with no arms. There you go. Make it big now. Kind of adding a very strong propulsion. A bend lift. A lot of people have different ways of doing a step touch. This is nice and easy. Something that you should do during a warm-up routine. But right in the middle of a low impact or high impact workout, you bend the knees for power. Okay, press through. Everybody, basic grapevine to the right. Little one. One more time. All right. Step touch one time. One grapevine. Step touch on your left leg. One grapevine. And this is what we're gonna wind you down with. Just some slow, Relaxing movements. One more time. Step touch to the right and left. Great bind. One more. Push and push. Basic step touch, no arms. Shake it out. There you go. Shake it, shake it. Let's take a little breath in between. Inhale, exhale. And the last.
last time. Now just winding things down by working down into a little hippy hippy shake. Be sure to bend through those knees. Otherwise, if you're doing this with straight legs, there's a lot of tightness happening in the joints. So bend the knees and it creates a lot more movement, freedom for the hips to move through. Relax the shoulders. Good. Step it out. Adding my little combination here. Single, single, double. Here we go. Soft on the double. Soft on the double. One more. Back to the singles. Here we go. Now this time, the focus are on the arms. Push it out and out and out. Don't stop with this. Push and push. We've worked up a sweat. Because low impact is an excellent workout. Fantastic for all levels of fitness. And the beauty about it is that you can go from, high, from low to high impact. Keep bicep curling all the way through. Now let's slow those legs down. Just some upper body toning here. We're gonna go raise the right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm. Stretching, are you sweating? That's it, lift it, hold it high. Two more, and there you have it. You've done well if you've kept yourself moving throughout the low impact workout. Stay with us, we haven't finished with you yet. Stretch is coming right up your way. Depending on your level of fitness, Aerobics R Style videos have the one just for you. Check them out at these department stores, Target, Chandler's or Brescia's. And you know what, flip them over and that will give you an indication what the exercise content is for all levels of fitness. Are you ready now for your little bit of a stretch routine? What we're going to get you to do is lunge your left foot to the back like so. We've turned to the side so you can just see the angle of our body. I want you to focus on pushing that back heel to the floor. And be sure to have that foot pointing forward because as soon as you turn it out to the side, you're missing the point of the stretch, which is the calves. So point the foot forward, brace your tummy muscles, and just kind of clasp the hands together, make it round, opening up through the shoulder blades. Now keep the stretch through the sides of the body. So we take both of your arms up nice and high, pulling everything up there it all the way back past your ears if you can open it up good now relax the arms down I'm gonna get you to guide your hips your knees kind of tuck everything forward pressing it out through this extended hip area holding it five six seven and eight shift the body weight back onto that leg you're gonna flex that front foot now we're gonna point it down and flex it up it's down and flex it up twice more Feels good there, working right down into those heels. One more time. Folks, turn yourself back to the center. Squat down, lift up and down. Now when you come up, I want you to take a strong exhalation so you're breathing out. Lift your tummy muscles in at the same time. Makes it a lot more comfortable. One more to go. Last time, now roll it all the way up. Turn yourself to the left side. Press that back foot to the ground. This time the arms start up in front. And then they move backwards and forward. Backwards and forwards. Be sure to keep your elbows very soft. No tension around the shoulders. Two more like this. One more. Join the hands together. Take both of your arms up and hold that stretch. Ooh, pull up tall. Past your ears. Really open up through the sides of that torso. And relaxing down. Now guide your knee, your hips underneath that waist. Pulling up strong here. Good job. Please turn yourself back to the center. Same thing with the squat. Lift it up. Take it down and it's up. No movement from the neck or the shoulders. How do you feel? Down and up. Down and up. Two more counts. Press. Ready? All the way up. Woo. Moving into those legs. Push your right foot to the back of the body. I'm going to get you to face square on. I'm going to drop that knee down. While you're resting on foot and knee, take that elbow into the torso. You're getting a bit of a stretch into this shoulder area. Good. Now the other side, so we stay on this knee, foot, not too long there, so it shouldn't be uncomfortable for you. Press down and hold. 
Good job. Now, while I've got you on the ground, what I want you to do is shift that knee forward. I'll turn to the side. Press that heel down here into the floor. And this will help to stretch out the lower calf muscle. Hold it right here. I'll stay on you. Switch the legs over. Press down. Cool. That's it. Now lift the bottom up. Standing soft through those knees. And finish off with a quick stretch here. Bring the arm close to the side of that face. Glue the hand along that hip. Up and over. Maintain the height. Lengthening up beyond your fingertips. And release it. Up and over. Stretch it over. Up we go. The insects, flies and things like that. Ah, don't worry. They're probably attracted by the sweat. I wonder if they are flies attracted by the sweat. Okay, there you are. That's one of the joys of exercising in the comfort of your own home. Nothing happens. No one's attacking you. Folks, we'll see you the next time. Hopefully, join us for the next workout. And don't forget to tell your friends about us. Bye-bye for now.